Hey friends, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. Today we're going to be taking our new maker foam. We're going to be building a 15 foot iron giant. All right, friends, so I have a little bit of quiet time here right before lunch, and I'm gonna start working on a passion project. Many of you guys may see on our store now that we have finally gotten to bring our Baker Foam back in a version two. You guys remember the original Maker Foam? It was water-resistant white foam that was paintable, able to take decals, it was also translucent so you could build your favorite FT model and also light it up internally. But also, the reason we called it Maker Foam was because we wanted people to be able to dream bigger. And during that time of the original Maker Foam, we built a lot of really cool things like the Flying Pig. <laughs> The monster AT-AT. Keep going, oh, I can feel it. Oh! The Millennium Falcon. There it is! <laughs> and even recently, our space lab. Maker Foam is not just for model planes, but it's also meant for creating huge DIY designs. What I'm gonna be doing during my lunch hour here is I'm gonna take my favorite Iron Giant, which is a classic cartoon from about 1999. I'm gonna be taking a paper craft model of that, I'm gonna be putting in the CAD, and I'm gonna try to convert this over to something that I can make out of Maker Foam. Hopefully if everything works out good, I'll be able to build the head. From that point on, I'll be able to scale it up and we'll really be able to see how strong this new Maker Foam is. So the head turned out absolutely fantastic here. I'm gonna use the same process that I did to design the head and design the rest of the body. The end goal of this is if everything works out good, I'm gonna be able to have either a pattern or plans for this Iron Giant that other people will be able to build too. At the end of the day, whether it's an airplane or whether it's a big iron giant, I want people building and flying and creating together. And that brings us to today's sponsors because they believe in much in what I just said. Today's sponsor is Fudo. Fudo is an organization that incentivizes and even pays people to work on their own open source projects. And Fudo partnered with us because they want you guys to know that they are now accepting applicants for their spring 2023 Fudo Fellows Program. Fudo is looking for programmers and creators that can upset big tech oligopolies. I'll pause for a moment so you can read that definition. To be an applicant, all you need to do is have a great open source project, have a plan to develop an honest business model, and if accepted, you can get up to $80,000 per team, housing and office space in Austin, and access to a growing and industrious tech community. Now this partnership is really special to us because if you guys remember, getting into the hobby was incredibly expensive, it was incredibly complicated, and people typically had to buy something from China or an expensive hobby shop. Our vision was flight test from the day we started out was to give people the ability to build, design, and fly on their own terms using common, simple, everyday materials. We're excited because Fudo wants to take that vision to the next level with your ideas, and this is a really great way to get those things funded. If you have a great idea or project in mind that you would like Fudo to be able to fund and create and bring to reality, Make sure you click on that link below in the description and pitch your idea. Huge thanks to Fudo, and also, I cannot tell you how excited I am to see how big this giant's gonna be. I got some work to do. All right, so over the weekend, I wanted to push Maker Foam to the limit, and I always wanted to build a huge monster iron giant. So this time I was going for 12 feet. I think this is gonna be closer to 16, but we're gonna find out when we get together. I'm gonna surprise you guys now. Ready? Yes. All right, let's go. What do you think? There's never a dull day at Edgewater. Flight <laughs> does. That is gigantic. <laughs> I think you found your new Halloween costume. I think so. I think so. I'm only the legs are a little bit different. So, this is the last big piece here. We're gonna go ahead and work on the rest of it here. I don't know where we're gonna put in the shop, but wherever it is, it's gonna be awesome to fly tiny loops around. All right, Dave, where are we at? All right. First shoulder is on, we got it all measured out. Now we have to figure out how to do the other side the exact same way. And that's where it gets interesting because you know, you got so many complex shapes that you have to measure it out. And yeah, we just got a lot of measuring to do. It's good. It's definitely gotten taller, hasn't it? Yes, yes. It's very large. Okay. Big guy and a little. The Iron Giant ain't my best friend! <laughs> so, I think when I was going for 12 feet, I yeah. may have mismeasured all <laughs> So, this here, which is expandable, like so, you know, you can articulate it. Yeah, yeah. 
This here is the shoulder. Actually, that's not even the shoulder. I'm sorry. Back. This. At this shoulder ball. This, this is the shoulder ball, all the way to where the beginning of the wrist is, right here. <laughs> I'm five eight, so we're probably looking about four and a half to five feet. We're probably five feet. Right now. We weigh out. We 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 yeah. I really blew it when it came to sizing this thing because I thought it was gonna be 12 feet tall. I think it's gonna be like 18. Feet tall. <laughs> this will go up here. Okay. That's the shoulder blade. Then grab oh, that little. And then ball this socket. ball slots into here. Yep. And then that's how his arm moves around. So that's that's the width of this. Thing. <laughs> Wait a second. Hold on. Just, just leave that there. <laughs> it's longer than I am wide, dude. <laughs> I got the lower part of this chest all cut out. I'm gonna flip this over and uh, I may need you guys' help to like form this up, but I wanna get his his lower part of his chest and then I got the abs ready to cut out. And uh, and that's gonna probably put like three feet of height to him. Awesome. Before we even get to the legs. I, I can't wait to see this thing completed. It's, it's gonna, gonna be awesome. awesome. It's gonna be awesome. Isn't it funny, most people use a banana for scale, we use a Stefan for scale. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how we roll. All right. All right, we're ready to put our, uh, what, hip joint? I guess it be fine. Uh, I don't know what that body part's called. Yeah, I would, I would call it the hip. Looks good. All right, so right now we're gonna leave this unglued, so that way uh, when, when we're setting it up, where we decide to set this thing up at, we have articulation to say he has to kind of bend at the hips or something a little bit. We have room to work until we figure it out and then we can glue it solid. Perfect. So we just got a delivery from Amazon here, and this is gonna hopefully be a component that's gonna make it possible for our big iron giant to be posed in different positions, whether we take it to different locations or put it around the shop. And that's this little guy right here. This is what they call, I think it's like a DSLR soft shoe mount, has a quarter 20 bolt, and also a way to receive a quarter 20. This is what I hope to use on the shoulders, the elbows, the, the knees, the hips, the head, to be able to pose the iron giant so it doesn't just sit there looking like uh, a statue. Superman. Uh, we're gonna see how this works. I'm also gonna fit this with some custom brackets to make sure it's strong, but at the same time, we can easily get to this little guy right here. There we go, Dave. Is the head gonna stay? I think we'll probably just steer on to the head. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna be laying this out here. We have no clue what the actual height was. I thought it was 12 feet. I was wrong. And uh, we're gonna lay this out, see how it looks, take some measurements, and then figure out where in the world we're gonna put it in this building. I'm gonna put the head right here. Uh, probably 15 feet. All right, uh, Mike, what's your guess? 16 and a quarter. 16 and a quarter? Moose? Oh. I don't know. I'm 17. I'm gonna guess 14. Oh, I'm gonna guess 15. What'd you say? I said 15. Okay, I'm gonna guess 14.6. Right. 15 foot 4 inches. That's exact. I'm gonna go. I want this. 16. 16. 6. 16. 6. Hey, watch this. We can make his little arms go. Whee! That's a robot. It's a robot. It goes up all the way to the top part right there. Alright. Do you have a ruler? Or a tape measure? This is getting real. Hey, Moose, lay next to it for scale. <laughs> Not even. No, no, you're you're a shin and a foot. <laughs> I have Fifteen feet. That was awesome to work into. <laughs> what is it at? Oh no, yeah, we can't see. Fif Fifteen, two and a half, Fif two. Fifteen, two. <laughs> I was two oh. inches off. I was two inches off. What'd you say? Fifteen. Uh, Why are we always tied? I'm telling you. <laughs> so Fifteen feet. And we gotta get 15 feet to get in a 12 foot area. Great work, Dave. Same to you. All right, well, tomorrow. How are you gonna hold it? Yeah, that's good. Do you want this? No, there should be an actual. <laughs> <laughs> the things we do, Josh. Oh my gosh, what did you do at work today? 
That is fantastic. So Dave, what are you doing? Um, trying to figure out how to hang this monstrosity up. It's uh, kind of interesting. There's just so many articulated parts. We wanted to make sure we could get it kind of pushed back in the corner real good. And unfortunately in doing that, we made it kind of floppy, so. Gotcha, you don't want all the, you don't want all the weight to be on his hips. Huh? Right, right, yeah. So we gotta kind of just string it up in different spots and put some hooks in. I love it. That's we'll gonna, get it figured out. That's gonna be fantastic to whoop around though. It's awesome. I love it. It's great. <laughs> All right, Dave, what are you doing, bro? I am currently putting Velcro in the Iron Giant's head to uh, hopefully mount it up there. <laughs> Josh, what you doing, bro? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm getting ready to put the neck on. <laughs> it's awesome. It's a cool looking neck you got there. <laughs> Look at all that Velcro. Yeah, we're gonna Velcro his head on so that way we can basically reposition it. Yes. Or if a tiny little hit the hard knuckles, you know. Pop off. Yeah, I just kidding, I don't wanna do a jack. <laughs> The last piece of man. Wow. Can you believe that? How do you feel about that, Josh? I love it. I love it. It's literally, you walk in here and you don't see anything but little tiny thumbs sticking down. That right there. And all of a sudden it's like, what is that? And you turn your hands like, whoa! That looks good. All right, guys, you ready? Yep. Oh! He's like, what's this light doing in my face? <laughs> Look at this. Dude, he looks a little bit like, you want a piece of me? <laughs> <laughs> All right. I was I was thinking more like he was smiling. Like, he does. Hey, he does up? look happy. You, you know he has he has he has, he has the, the the smirky smile like gotcha. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's it. You found yeah. me. <laughs> yeah. I know that the chin. I mean, that's a real. That's that's, that's perfect. Yeah. Nice. Great job. Awesome. Well done, guys. Thank you, brother. <laughs> All right, so we got work to do here in about two days. We're gonna have people from all over the country coming in with their little tiny, tiny whoops. We gotta turn this place into a whoop the halls up here. Yeah. We got a lot of gates, a lot of things to light <laughs> up. Let's get to it. So Whoop the Halls was an absolute blast and people really love the Iron Giant here. Now friends, Maker Foam is now available both in 20 count packs and also 50 count packs. The reason we did the 20 count is because it's incredibly economical to ship right to your door. So we really wanna see what you guys create and build with this new material. Let us know in the comments below if you'd like us to see some of the iconic things we designed in the past become either plans or speedboat kits that you guys can build. Friends, thanks so much for being part of the Flytest family. We'll see you next time. Ooh. Stay.